When this is on the outside, it flips it over the X. You know, it flips it upside down. But when you get ready to work with the points, it's, it's so crazy because it's the opposite of what you think. Yes, it reflects it across the X axis, but it changes the values of the Y. Remember, if it's on the outside, not inside the parentheses, but on the outside, it screws with your Y. So you're going to change the signs of all your Y. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. Obviously, it doesn't affect zero. Okay. Now, this, if it's inside the X, it does the opposite of what you think. I mean, gosh. I mean, think about it up here. When it's on the inside, it does the opposite of what you would think you'd go left to, but no, you go right to. X's are just screwy. Okay. Here, you would think it would make it twice as wide and you'd multiply by two. No, you do the opposite of what you think. You don't multiply by two, you do the opposite. You divide by two. So I'm going to take all my x values and I'm going to half them or divide by two. Half of that is negative one. Okay, half of zero is still zero and half of four is two. So you can say I took all my x values, halved them or divided by two. Let's plot our new points. Negative one, four. There it is. And zero, zero. That guy is kind of boring. He just always stays the same, it seems like. And two, two. Two, two. And there it is. Okay. Little skinny guy right there. So you can see, um, remember when it had an original width of six? Okay, now it should only have a width of three. And you can see one, two, three, from the farthest point on the left to the farthest point on the right, it only has a width of three because it had a horizontal shrinkage, okay? It went down by a measure of two, okay? All right, hopefully that helps.